Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Guys, once again, I will answer a question of Civil Engineering student in comments box and he asked the very important question and that is, can I have span 7.6 meter or 25 feet between two RCC columns? Can he take? I am asking from you. Yes guys, he can take, but here are some rules regulation with the reference of IS 13920. So let's start guys. A student asked, can I take the span between two RCC column up to 7.6 meter or 25 feet? So this is his question. So these are supports our RCC column. Okay. Guys, first of all, I will tell you span of column or size of column, size of beam, size of footing, depth of foundation, these all are depend on the structure load. If guys you don't have the structure design for your house or for your project or for any structure if you don't have the structure design from engineer so you should use the different codes to complete your construction or to complete your structure then you can decide easily if you don't have structure design okay so guys from IS 13920 code. Okay, they said size of column are size of beam can take or we take with the formula of span divided by span divided by 10 to 15 then we can take size of beam or column ok but guys I recommend you IS 456 2000 they said minimum size of the column should not be less than 9 by 9 inches okay so if the span between two RCC column is more so use minimum 12 by 12 inches or 300 by 300 mm are 30 by 30 centimeters okay this is the minimum size of RCC column but here is a question can I have the span 7.6 meter or 25 feet between two RCC column yes guys you can take okay but you should use the this formula from the code of IS 13920 okay now guys R okay size of column size of column should we can take okay 20 times bar diameter of beam this is the other formula means size of column if you want to increase the length or spacing or distance between two RCC columns so you will increase the size of size of column okay so the size of column should be increased but here guys as you can see if you want to take 7.6 meter so this is the length or spin. 
So what should be the size of what should be the size of uh, column? Okay. So it should not be less than four hundred millimeter for this by four hundred millimeter. It should not be less than four hundred by four hundred millimeters. Now come to its beam. What should be the depth of beam? So this is size of column. Okay, this is column size. Okay. Now guys, the depth of the beam should be, as you can see, this is 7.6 meter. So 7.6 meter divided by depth of beam. Okay. Then you can take 10. Okay. Divided by 10. So when 7.6 multiply 1000 because it will be convert to mm millimeters. Okay. Because 7.6 meter. So 7.6 multiply 1000 and divide by 10. Okay. So it becomes 760 mm. Okay. So the depth should be 760 millimeters. In the case of this distance from the reference of IS 13920. And about its width, what should be the width? Okay, so 7.6 multiply 1000 divided by 15. Okay, because the width should be less than its depth. Okay, the depth should be more than its width for in the case of beam. Okay, so divide by 15, you can take 15 or 14. Okay, so uh, take maximum number in this case. Divide by 15, so it become 5. 60 mm 560 millimeter so it should be the width of beam and uh, uh, th as you can see the depth formula is this one and the width formula is 7.6 divided by 15 you can take this one so by these rules regulation guys you can take what uh, length between two rcc column also 7.6 meter Okay, but guys here, you can see this one, 20 times bar diameter. So if you use 20, uh, 20 times, for example, if in the beam, as you can see, this is a beam, if I used here dia of steel bars, for example, okay, if I use uh, 20 mm, are 25 mm so the size we can take 20 multiply because 20 times of beam diameter okay bar uh, which we are using uh, steel bar and a beam okay so 20 times of that diameter multiply 20 okay so it becomes you can see 400 20 multiply 20 okay just for you i calculate so it become 400 mm by 400 mm I have already written here this one you can use also 20 times bar diameter of beam for size of column so guys this is your answer if uh, other students don't know about this topic uh, can I have spent uh, now you can take 5 meter by 4 meter so you can use the given formula by which you can also find its depth about its width of beam and also size of RCC column with the help of this formula from IS code. So guys if you have any question related with this topic so you can comment I will try to replay your answer but this is not a special design if you don't have the structural design so you can use the given formulas to complete your structure so therefore guys i'm telling you if you have any question related with civil engineering so i will try to research on that and i will give you the complete answer of your question because uh, there are some students uh, and i completed more videos related with civil engineering but they are asking from me in comments box so please first of all you should search my youtube channel and there are uh, more than about 600 videos so you can find uh, all uh, civil engineering related videos and you can uh, find your question in uh, civil engineers youtube channel which you are watching now so i hope 
it will help you in the future also on construction site also uh, in exam also uh, related interview question okay